Hello friends, uh, it's been a while since we did our, uh, another tutorial. Uh, however, in this uh, particular case, I was thinking about, uh, we've looked at uh, Django. Uh, we have looked at, uh, I also have a playlist with, uh, that deals with QGIS or open source uh, geospatial and also Geonode. And uh, now uh, I was thinking about, imagine if you want to create a backend uh, REST API for that uh, shares or that supports a location-based uh, application. Let's say you want to build an application that uh, supports or maybe helps tourists in locating restaurants, for example, or uh, a software or an application that helps uh, can help uh, locate the nearest hospital or the nearest uh, facility uh, that involves location uh, analytics or uh, location component or what we refer to as GIS for geospatial information systems. So uh, I was thinking around it and I saw and of course based on the comments uh, of which actually I would like to thank uh, my uh, you for subscribing and for following and also for engaging me in the comments. Uh, and it has uh, encouraged me to okay think around what can we uh, build in our next uh, tutorial. So we have a component called GeoJungle, which is inbuilt, uh, which is a functionality that is uh, inside Django that deals with uh, geographic information systems or the GIS and uh, I was thinking that in this uh, coming tutorial I would want to uh, create a location based application uh, that encompasses uh, some of the or rather summarizes or also uh, continues the, uh, what you have in the other playlists so uh, I would like us to look at that and then we'll see what we can uh, get and you can probably use a skill set to build your own location aware uh, application backend. Yeah, so uh, let's uh, get started. And uh, to get started, uh, we will need to have a bunch of uh, or a list of a uh, number of softwares. Uh, my environment is Windows. I'll be doing the, I'll be doing this in Windows and um, I'll be using the Windows subsystem for Linux. And uh, I would like to, for, uh, if you want to learn more about the Windows subsystem for Linux, uh, we have the page for uh, from Microsoft, uh, which you can uh, look at how to install. Uh, what are the requirements that you can use to install the Windows subsystem for Linux? Because it comes quite in handy uh, when developing. Uh, as I had mentioned in some uh, previously, is that you don't need to install a full-blown Linux if you do not want. You can still stick to your Windows and also use the Windows subsystem for Linux. Of course, there may be differences and maybe drawbacks as compared to having a Linux, uh, your computer running Linux. So you can check on this page for uh, Microsoft. Uh, the other software that we will need after configuring our WSL or the Windows subsystem for Linux, we will need to have uh, Python and I have a post that I created in the uh, dev, dev community uh, dev community website uh, for installing Python in Linux. Um, so you can just have a look at it. Basically, we have three steps. You can either build it, uh, you can install it, but since we are going to be using Ubuntu 22, uh, it already comes with an inbuilt Python, but if you're going to use, let's say, Ubuntu 20, you may need to either build or uh, use a uh, different uh, uh, APT uh, repository, like there's one that is usually supported for by the Dead Snakes uh, team. Uh, but nevertheless, I'm going to share the links to those uh, to that tutorial. So the other component that you will be needing, or the other software that you will need, uh, is Docker. So you need Docker Desktop. Uh, because we will be containerizing our application at some point uh, and seeing how we can package it in, you know, run our software as uh, microservices. And then our we need an integrated development environment or an IDE. And for the IDE, we will be using uh, Visual Studio Code. 
uh, this is how it looks like you can uh, check it out uh, you can download it and install it and then uh, one of the other requirements though not uh, we, we are not going to be using it a lot is uh, these QGIS uh, because we will be doing some something with the we will be uh, editing some data uh, that is uh, GIS data so we will be we will be required to have QGIS uh, but as I've said it's not a requirement because we're just going to be using it to edit our data that we are going to use in our application so yeah so these are the softwares that we need and uh, let's see how we are gonna uh, uh, work with them so i'm going to share the links to these uh, softwares in the description and of course before i forget we also need data so we are going to see where we can fetch our or where we can get our data for these uh, particular uh, tasks 